Hello everyone. Welcome to my first tutorial video. I'm Kaomi. I will make a bouquet of flower with the orange and lemon. We have a watermelon for our base of the bouquet of flower. We have orange and lemon for our flowers. We have pepper for our flower sepal. Strawberry and grapes for our uh, in the center of the flower. And carrots for our flower. We have leeks. This one we will put it in the center of the base. And then cut we we'll use for flowers also, the onion leeks. We have the big knife. We we'll use this for our uh, cutting of our watermelon. And we have two small knives to use also for our flower. And we have uh, carving tools, B shape and up one shape. We we'll use also for our flower. We have bamboo skewer so that our leeks and the flower will stand in the base. And also toothpick. We we'll use this one. I forgot to add that you will need bowl and pliers, but let's get into the video. Get your watermelon. Cut the top and the bottom of watermelon with a big knife. Use the V-shaped carving tools to carve a line around the edge of the watermelon about a quarter of an inch away. Hold the watermelon like this so you can see where you are carving and make sure to carve away from you to avoid cutting yourself. Do this on the other side as well. Take a small carving knife and carve V or W shape like this under the line you carve. Here is a close up. Peel a thin layer of the skin outside the pattern like this with a small carving knife. Peel the rest of the skin all the way to the other line you carved. Again, make sure to carve away from you to avoid cutting yourself. Make sure that you are carving a very thin layer that you barely see the red part inside. You want to see the lightest shade of green that's almost white. You will end up with a thin strip of the outer skin remaining right here. Do another layer of V or W shape, but start on the tips of the last layer. Try your best to keep the V or W shape the same size as the last layer. Again, carve a thin layer of the skin underneath the V or W shape. Do as many layers as you can until you reach the bottom. You can see that it has many colors, dark green, light green, and red. All in one fruit. It should look like this. Don't be discouraged if you think it is not good. Practice makes perfect. Now, get the leek in a big bowl and fill it with cold water. Then, get your small knife to cut the roots of the leek and cut out about 3 inches of the tips of the leek, almost all of the white part. Then, hold like this and carve like from the middle of the leeks to the end. 
Don't carve too deep or you'll break it. This will be another flower in our bouquet. When you're done, gently spread the petals out and put in the bowl of cold water to curve the petals out. Then take the rest of the leaves, hold it like this, and curve line about three fourths of the length of the leaf. We will put this in the center of the bouquet to add contrast. Put in the cold water with the leaf flower and set them aside. The next step is to get the bell pepper to make sepals. I will make four. With a small knife, carve zigzag around the center of the bell pepper. You can make the zigzag as thin or long as you want. When you finish, you should be able to pull the two halves apart like this. And like this. And like this. Let's go to the next step. The flowers. We'll start with the oranges. First, cut off this much of the orange. Next, cut another slice about one fourth inch away from the edge. But make sure not to cut all the way. Then cut all the way down on the next slice. Here's a close up so you can see what I mean. You can make three layers from one orange depending on how thick your slices are. But I will only use two. These cuts will be the petals. Grab two pieces, open them up like this. And place the small piece on the top of the bigger one. We will do the same thing for the lemon. So slice. Stop and then slice all the way. It's assembly time. Let's start with the flowers. For the lemon flowers, get the bell pepper sepals, lemons, and grapes. And for the orange flowers, get the bell pepper sepals, orange, and strawberries. For both, you will need the bamboo skewers. We will do the lemon flowers first. Get the bamboo skewer and the sepal and stick the skewer in the center of the bell pepper sepal. Take the bigger lemon piece and stick it through the skin. Now put the smaller lemon piece on top, just like how I demonstrated earlier. Take the grapes and stick it on the tip. Push all the pieces together. And now we have our first flower. We use a combination of three different colors so that you can clearly see its part. We will do the same for the other one. Now, let's do the orange flower. Take the bamboo skewer and sepal.
then the orange. Then the other orange. Then the strawberry. Notice how I didn't take out the leaves of the strawberry. We do that so that there is contrast in color. Now, let's do the carrots garnish. First, fill the carrots with a small knife or with a peeler if you want. Then, cut the top part. Then, let's cut into six parts. First, cut it in half lengthwise. Then, cut each half into three parts. Now, let's put everything together. Take the base and both parts of the leaf. Take the big piece of the leaf first and align it on the center of the base. Use the small knife to take out some of the fruits to make room for the leaf. You can also use a spoon for this. Now, put the leaf in the vase. Then, take skewers and stick them around the base to hold the leaf in place. Take the pliers and cut them so that none of them are visible. Take some scallion and all the flowers. Cut a small piece of scallion, about 3 inches. and stick it through the bamboo skewer. This will be the green stem. Now, stick the flower through the base. Don't worry if the bamboo skewer is stick out because we can just use the pliers to cut it off. We can experiment with the size and shape of the scallion stem. I put these other flowers across the other one so that I can space them evenly. As you can see, it's easier to put the remaining flowers in between the two you already put. Now, let's do the carrots garnish. Get the toothpick and the carrots. Stick the toothpick onto the flat side of the carrot and stick that into the base. Make sure to spread them out. Then let's assemble the leaf flower. Stick a piece of scallion into the skewer, then the leek flower on top. You can put it wherever you want, but I will put mine in the center of the base where the leek is. I suggest you put the base on a plate so that it's easy to carry and the juice of the fruits won't seep onto your table. Now our base is complete. This is Rim's product. It's easy. You can do it. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to see more video. See you next time. Bye-bye.